Today it is all about these two guys, the micro pump from Thermarest and the tiny pump 2X from Flextail. Today we will go through the how and the why to use a small pump and the difference between these two. The specs, the price, the features and the end also the most important part, the performance and what the best choice would be for you. The micro pump or the tiny pump? Hmm. Let's find out. Myself, I've been manually inflating my pad for a long time because I didn't want the added weight of a pump sack inside my backpack. And I find it okay and easily done after setting camp, even if it takes a little bit of an effort. But I don't want to use my mouth to inflate my pads any longer, so I then have the choice of using a pump sack or a pump. Before trying them out and compare the performance of the two contenders, let's look into the specs and what you get in the package. The tiny pump weighs in at 109 grams, including the small adapter for the thermos pads. The size is 45 mm wide, 59 mm high, and in the package you get the adapters to use for any pads, and a small bag to store the pump in and the accessories, and a USB cable to charge it with. The tiny pump has a built-in 1300 milliamp battery and has a capacity of 180 liters per minute. The micro pump from Thermarest weighs in at 63 grams, batteries included. But it depends on what batteries that you buy because the AAA batteries can be up to a 10 grams difference a pair. So if weight is of importance for you, choose your batteries carefully. The micro uses two AAA batteries and is 55 mm high, 41 mm in diameter and 55 mm wide. And in the package beside the pump you get nothing. No adapters, no batteries included. One of these pumps are full with features, the other one well not so much. The micro pump can be used only as a pump but not only that it can only be used as a pump as long as you own a thermarest pad because it is only compatible with a wing lock valve and the only one using that is thermarest. So if you have a City Summit pad, a NEMA pad, an Expert pad or any other pad out there, this pump is not for you. The Tiny Pump 2X from Flextail on the other hand is filled with features. First of all you can inflate whatever pad that you have because it comes with adapters to fit them all. Beside a pump it also features a LED light with 40, 60 and 400 lumens output and together with a quick suspension it can be used as a lantern inside your tent or a flashlight. It also has a magnetic base so you can use it as a hands-free flashlight. Not very usable while camping perhaps but a nice to have feature. Now we're talking about the most interesting thing. How many times you can inflate your pad using one charge or one set of batteries. I've been using these pumps to inflate my pad the Thermarest Neo Air X Therm as many times as I can during the past week and for you who are not familiar with this pad this is quite a large one at 196 centimeters long, 64 centimeters wide and 6.4 centimeters thick. I didn't have very high expectations from either of the two because I haven't used them or any similar products before so I didn't expect them to last for very long but for short they both exceeded my expectations in different ways. The sound of the tiny pump is quite high and about 82 decibel while used and I was able to inflate my pad 24 times before the red light that indicates a low battery was turned on which means less than 5% remaining of the battery. I could have probably inflated the pad once or twice more but uh, I chose to stop there. The micro pump is less noisy at only 72 decibels while used but you can also clearly see that it is a much less powerful pump and that the pad didn't get as inflated as using the tiny pump. That means that you need to use your mouth in the end to get it fully filled. The inflation time using the micro pump is much longer and about 3 minutes and 30 seconds in the beginning and about 4 minutes in the end. But the number of fills achieved was amazing over 35 times before I actually stopped because it all depends on the quality of the batteries. All in all both exceeded my expectations and both did what they are designed to do. On the negative side I don't have that much but on the tiny pump sure it is a bit noisy and the small nozzles that you get for all your pads well they can of course get lost. 
for the micro the big downside is of course that it can only be used for thermarest pads and that it is not rechargeable so each time you run out of batteries you need to buy new ones and that adds to the cost during its lifetime and it is slow like super slow the price well the micro is expensive and costs about five to six hundred swedish crowns depending on where you buy it and that is about 50 to 60 dollars and that does not include any batteries the tiny pump 2x is a bit cheaper and on their website it retails for 39.99 dollars at the moment and as a viewer and subscriber to this channel you get a discount code just write flextail 15 during checkout and you will get 15% off on any product not just the tiny pump so what do i recommend hmm well if you are a lucky owner of a thermos pad you being able to choose either one but if you do mind the added weight and want to go as light as possible and don't mind the long inflation times well then the choice is easy you go for the micro but if you are an owner of any other pad out there or a thermos pad for that matter and you want a powerful small pump for your pad that also can double as a lantern and on top of that also are cheaper and rechargeable well then you go for the tiny pump 2x from flextail i hope you enjoyed today's episode and i'm so much looking forward to hearing your comments do you believe it is worth the added weight of adding a pump or do you prefer a pump sack leave a comment but for now, this is it. And if you liked today's episode, take a look at these two recommendations on my other videos. Also do hit like, subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. I hope to see you again next week. But for now, take care, safe hiking and bye bye.